Good morning, traders. It is Wednesday, the 9th of November. So you should just be aware that overnight the US have been uh, voting uh, for their midterm elections, which is really just not the presidency. It's really just the Senate and the House, uh, the cabinet, so to speak. Uh, and those votes are still being counted. So that's going on at the moment. So just understand people are not necessarily at their desks. The market's in a little bit of a coma. However, it's likely that when the US comes online today, later today, we're likely to see some moves in the market. Um, so I just want to highlight in terms of uh, scheduling on the economic calendar today, we've got crude oil inventories around 3.30. When I look at the charts, technically crude oil is relatively bullish. Um, and so we'll see how that goes. Um, this may impact it. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Then we've got at 6 p.m. tonight, we've got the 10 year uh, T-note auction and that's really more to do with uh, inflation and, and we'll see how that's going so we'll see if the market is hypersensitive to that but actually aside from that there's really not a lot of high impact news uh, in the market scheduled for today then interesting enough going and having a look at earnings reports anything that's coming out today the one that I would possibly pay attention to or at least the most well-known name here is going to be Honda um, so it'd be interesting to see what comes out of that so if uh, that is something some stocks that you hold you may be interested to have a look at that um, or potentially not holding any positions if you're a trader because we're not really sure if the market's going to gap up or down and then finishing up with IPOs the one that I find of interest today is Ithaca it's an energy company right now um, of all the sectors out there for the last six months energy has been outperforming and therefore this would be the one that would catch my eye I'd be very interested in having a look at that that being said let's have a look at the markets very quickly to get a sense of what's going on uh, with everything else so the first thing that we need to talk about is that the dollar has been weakening it has been overpriced uh, it is uh, very very close to if not about to break the low uh, of October that is significant because what that usually means is that would signal uh, that we now have a swing high on the monthly which means we're now much more likely to head down towards 105 which means we're going to see a significant drop in the US dollar if that is the case then it's really reasonable and rational to expect that euro dollar is going to climb um, that means that euro dollar would head towards 1.05 which is well above parity it also means that if we look at sterling sterling is likely to head up towards 1.2 potentially 1.23 um, so that's also a strong sign we can uh, if we have a look at say dollar yen dollar yen is potentially then likely to head down to say 140 just a very sort of a longer term correction as opposed to a shorter term correction then having a quick look at gold i'm, I'm relatively bullish on gold i have to say uh, i actually i should use the words i'm quite bullish on gold um, we have a nice triple bottom we had a really big day yesterday um, we've got some room to go up towards 1800 dollars we do still have to break the high at 1727 we still have to do that and i think that's probably our next target and i would also say that we're overdue for a correction so intraday traders today might find that gold heads a little bit lower before resuming possibly by the end of the day to the upside silver is also looking very bullish as i've said in previous posts silver is not always really the main feature here but at at this time very unusually silver is really kind of taking the lead there if we then have a quick look at say crude oils crude oils have found some strong resistance us crude has found strong resistance at 92 dollars um, the trend is still pretty much intact for a move to the upside but i want to see what happens today if we finish to the upside today that is likely then going to lead to a breakout which is going to see it head up to 100 dollars let's see how brent crude is doing brent crude is trying to recover from yesterday so yesterday was a bit of a down day finding some resistance um, and i want to see if the market now recovers and takes another run at that level of resistance then looking at the us indices for example we've got fresh highs on the dow which is really nice and bullish we have got a pause on the s p it's still bullish but it has slowed down the nasdaq as well taking a little bit of a hit um, as in finishing slightly lower yesterday not actually a down day just finishing lower below the highs it was testing the highs relatively well the FTSE nice and bullish looking to push keep going the dax looking incredibly bullish so that actually uh, looks like that's going to continue to push higher than just one or two stocks that i would take note of tesla this is interesting <clears throat> I'd be paying attention to this. Uh, uh, Elon Musk has been selling, has apparently sold four billion uh, of his uh, stake in Tesla. So that is part of the reason that it dropped below 200 yesterday, um, and is also likely to continue heading a little bit lower at this time. It's got a monthly downtrend, weekly downtrend, daily downtrend. So for day traders, that's a potential shorting opportunity. And then just finishing on here with cryptos, and this is significant because yesterday uh, we saw a big, big move across to the downside um, across all the major cryptos. 
close, uh, we can see Tesla actually, uh, bigger pardon, Bitcoin actually breached uh, below support at 18,000, managed to close above it. Uh, Ethereum also took a bit of a hit there. Uh, Cardano, Binance. And remember that also those are components of Twitter. Um, they're partial owners in that. So it's just interesting to see what's happening, how there's some sort of a connection between them, common threads. Uh, but cryptos are under pressure, which is unusual because uh, equities are starting to climb. So it's interesting that uh, cryptos are under pressure. And that is interesting because it means they're starting to separate. So that's also a good sign. It does mean potentially the market conditions that we've been going through for the last six months are starting to change. Um, and so I want to take that into mind as I head into the day, but I'm optimistic that there are some good opportunities I think the volatility is likely to pick up when the US wakes up and of course the election results come out as well um, so that being said trade sensibly and carefully but have a great day